doon sa amin, final na motion for reconsideration, uh, kaugnay doon sa pagkansila na missionary visa ni Sister Pat at pag-downgrade sa temporary visitor si Pusa. So, meron po kami, kaya po kami nasa labas kami, briefly binasa namin. Um, Nari-interate lang ako po nila yung kanilang mga unang arguments na si Sister po ay nag-engage sa political activity. Kaya nila kanilang sila yung visa. Yung po yung naging ground sa loob, yung patit sila ng kanilang kanyang visa. At hindi krimen o hindi kasalanan ang maglipot sa mga magsasaka, sa mga magigawa, sa mga katubo na napakalagal niya ang pinag-ibaral. Uh, as what Attorney Paule has mentioned earlier, we have just received the copy of this order. And uh, the order denying our motion for reconsideration was promulgated on April 17th. The first time uh, that we've learned of this was even to our friends from the media. So it was only today that we were furnished, officially furnished a copy of the said, uh, of the said uh, order denying our motion for reconsideration. Clearly, we believe that the Bureau of Immigration does not know or is not even familiar with its own omnibus rules of procedure as promulgated in 2015. It is clearly stated there that uh, we can still file our appeal before the Secretary of Justice. And that uh, filing of an appeal before the Secretary shall stay the execution of this order, of this order for her to do. And uh, clearly also, in the omnibus rules of procedure, it is stated there that we have 15 days to do that. Upon the receipt of this order, denying our motion for reconsideration. We will not allow persecution. We will not allow oppression, especially sponsored by the state, the instrumentalities of the state against people working for genuine change, we will, to, we will be trooping to the Department of Justice to accompany her and the lawyers in filing the appeal. And of course, we will continue with our protest. We will continue with our call, hands off, Mr. Fox. Now, kami, mula sa Mindanao, uh, mariin at uh, mahigpit namin sinusuportahan si Sister Pat, ang laban ni Sister Pat. No? Ang laban niya, uh, laban dito sa isang state uh, uh, persecution, no? yung persecution ng mga taong sipahan na matagal nang uh, tumutulong sa mga makatutubo, sa mga lumad sa Mindanao. Lalo nga na nung mga panahon ng mga pagbakwit ng mga lumad sa Mindanao at ngayon panahon ng mga pagpatay, pagpaslang sa mga magsasaka sa Mindanao ng isang uh, ng terorismo ng Estado ngayon o sa ilalim ng Marsyalo. Ito sa nangyaro at mga nakarating sa Balida. Siyempre, I was preparing to the Western Open for this. Tapos, gawin na nga ang notice. Ito sa nice ganyan, i-class ng media. Ito na when they said the first report. Media, we never get notice of what's happening. Ito sa nangyaro because I was expecting just, I was hoping for justice. And the churches, not just the Catholic Church, but the United Church of Christ, the Evangelicals, lots of churches have also been supporting me and saying that is not, a missionary has to defend the dignity of people. And that sometimes, or you, if, they, if their dignity is being challenged through unjust, an unjust system, we have to be there with the people while they're trying to gain justice. And that's what I've been trying to do. And I've always been quiet about it, so it's but faithful to it because I believe that's where church people should be, with the people who are struggling for their rights. So at this stage I'm sort of a little emotional, both because of the decision and also because it's been really really special to have people saying they don't want to go. That's that.